This is the TM Cup Series. I'm your host, Sinon44, and this is race 11 of 17 at the Talladega Super Speedway. The whole winner was the 5, driven by Haley Broughton. Broughton got off to a lead early on, but if you're going to notice, right behind Haley Broughton, there's a white and blue car. That is David Darnell in the 35, a rookie driving a Pontiac. Driving car number two this week was Mike Whitmore, after Kelly Dawson was suspended for a single race by CMR after disorderly conduct. Evan Coldis' day would end early because his engine expires on him. You're going to notice all the cars in the inside lane going right by him. When he gets an opportunity to pull over, he does so, but all the cars in the outside lane are left behind. The 98 of Alexis Rainsford was running in 23rd, and Colin Reed was distant 39th. Danny Ross, GRL driver, made his comeback today at Talladega, driving the 07 car. Avery Holtzman in the 86 car was leading on lap number 3. The 86 car won, I should say, dominated the qualifying race, leading 4 laps and staying in the top 5 for almost the whole event. Lap 5 produced caution 1. Danny Ross, Cody Davis, and Haley Broughton all get together on the inside of the tri-oval. And then a huge brawl ensues. Mike Whitmore gets involved in the orange car on the bottom. Danny Ross, the green car, that's Drew Eisenman, the white car on the outside, Stuart Sandoval, Mike Whitmore. And then you see the rest of the field comes. There's two cars rolling. One of them over several times. That's Colin Reed in the 30. The other one is Matt Janoski in the 01, who's sitting on his roof right now. Have a look at this off the front bumper, the 30 car. This is one of the championship contenders trying to chase Alexis Rainsford. There's the smoke ahead. He's going to try to go low. Going to try and get to round. Oh, almost gets around the 75. Into the 33. There's Shinoski. And over and over goes Colin Reed. Wow. We're going to have a look at this off the roof cam of Mike Whitmore in the number two car. There you see the smoke starts coming. He's going to go to the inside. Gets into the 33. Eisenman. Danny Ross hits him. There's nowhere to go for Mike Whitmore. Now Stuart Sandoval in the 45 is going to give him a hit in the side. Whitmore goes over once. You see we lose the camera there for a while, and we're going to lose it again right there. Here's the start of the mess. That's Haley Broughton in the tan car, Danny Ross in the green Pontiac. On the, on the inside, you can't really see him, but that is Cody Davis. There you see Davis coming into the picture, and then they just get together. Not a whole lot of room for either of them to move around. And then a huge brawl ensues behind him. All told, there were only 24 cars left in the race out of 40 that started the race. Paul Calhoun in the 08 led the field on the restart. Trouble struck the 25 of Jack Parnell when his engine quit on him on lap 21. Caution 2 flew on lap 36. This was all started after a debris caution. Ryan Moody in the 21 gets into the 81 of Timmy Mack, sends himself into the infield. That white car is Alexis Rainsford he got into. She gets into Johnny Ada as well. And we're going to have another view of this to see what happened to Timmy Mack. There's Timmy Mack, Alexis Rainsford escaping. There you see he gets into Bruno Battaglia and Tommy Versetti. He also collects Ryan Noraki in the 93 car. Not too many people happy with Ryan Moody after that one. Caution 3 flew on lap 51. This one gets started because uh, Jake Natale gets turned into the wall. And another small brawl ensues, collecting Mario Marquez in the double zero. And Bruno Battaglia again in the 51. You see Alexis Rainsford, the championship leader, involved. She saves herself and Jordan Roller in the four car by making evasive action. Jeff Ruddle in the 22 car was leading on the restart. And then he and Andrew Browning had a very lengthy side-by-side -side battle that led up until the end of the race. Browning on the outside, Ruddle on the inside. They traded positions for 10 laps straight. It would be Jeff Ruddle making the move of the race. Ruddle would lead the number 22 Alienware Cadillac CTS on its first TM Cup Series victory. Ruddle and Browning 1 2. You're going to see Lewis Kingston and Avery Holtzman, both of them teammates to Team FWT. I'm sorry I didn't have a chance to talk about how good of a run the 84 had. Paul Calhoun in fifth. James Lombardi in sixth. Alexis Rainsford, despite having damage on it, finishes in eighth. Bruno Battaglia in ninth. And Cody Davis finishes in 10th. And here's your top 10 in points. Rainsford leads by a staggering 156 points. I believe that is more than a full race with 40 cars in the field. Over James Lombardi, Ryan Moody in third. Colin Reed drops to fourth. Julian Nosova was involved in the first wreck, dropped down to fifth. 
John Broughton in sixth, 231 out of the lead. Bruno Battaglia, Andrew Browning, Nick Phillip, and Lauren Beatty round out the top 10. And here's the next 10. Colin Evans, 308 points out of first. Drew Eisenman in 12th, Zelda Ashby, and look at Scott Head and Lewis Kingston, the 52 and the 84 car sitting 14th and 15th respectively. Those two cars are making a well of a comeback. Johnny Ada still in 16th, Justin Brooks, and then the Bates make up 19th, 19th and 20th. That's off this week in the TM Cup Series. I'll see you next time.